Uh, hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with some more Crab Champions. If you didn't see it last episode, oh my gosh, we had the dual pistols. It was just an insane, like, piercing, bouncing, homing build. And we have three more weapons to beat uh, on uh, Ruby. We have the orb launcher, the rocket launcher, and then the auto shotgun. So I want to save the rocket launcher for last. I think that'll be a fun way. So we're going to go do the orb launcher now. Orb launcher has always been pretty good to us. Uh, and I'm very excited to see what kind of uh, build we can get with it, right? So starting off with a legendary, <laughs> gain a mortar turrets at the start of each island. It's trying to uh, make us like we're doing the um, our turret build uh, from a while ago here. So we got a mortar turret. I mean, I can't 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 get mad at that. Um, better than a normal turret. Um, better than a lot of other things I can get. It is a legendary, so we'll just have some other source of damage. Right, uh, you know, doing its doing its thing here, helping us out. I don't really know what type of build we want to do with the orb launch. There's a lot of different fun stuff that we can do with it. We kind of just got to play with what the game gives us. So shots do more damage for each shot you hit in a row. More damage, but clip size is slow. Okay, glue shot. I think a glue shot orb thing could do really good. And honestly, this is extremely... Uh, yeah, this is extremely risky one shot here. But once again, we're early enough where... I'm not too concerned if I uh, if I lose. Just got to be careful of these, right? And we're dead. <laughs> Are, okay, that did count. I'll pretend you didn't see that. We're actually starting with enemies have a small chance uh, to drop loot when eliminated. That's that's what we started with here. Um, and uh, you know. <laughs> okay, uh, so we already made the game harder here. Uh, hopefully, hey, the rocks, the rocks saved us here. Uh, we just have a high chance. We already found an extra item there, so we already got some extra enemy uh, things. I would a glue shot build. I'm still would th think could be pretty cool here, but yeah, I definitely think since we're not doing a turret build, this is better than a turret. Is this a fuser? Or is this the legendary? It's a gold. Okay, we will take that to get another legendary here early on. Got to make sure to zoom in when I need to here. Okay, so we have. Melee cooldown reduced. So I'm going to take it and then sell it at a later time. Damage increases to distant enemies like that. Uh, chance for shots to target nearby enemies. We already have a freaking homing. So, okay. Get rid of half of our health. And we got grenades explode into fire damage areas. I mean, that's that's pretty good, right? I've, we've definitely learned to value decent grenades. Shots do more damage, but uh, tell it over time. Do we just do another bouncy homing build? It seems to be that that's what we're doing here. Last time we did it with dual pistols. I guess this time we do it with the orbs, which it does look cooler on the orbs, to be completely honest. But the orb launcher looks cooler in general in, like, every way. The orb launcher is just a cool weapon here. But it is funny that we're doing a similar build to what we just did uh, last, last video. Yeah, bouncy would still be, uh... Or, yeah, glue... We had glue. How does that actually work? Bouncy and glue. Okay. I like the the uh, fire grenade thing too here. Bronze hearth, heal when dealing damage. I want the heart, but we're going to say heal when dealing damage just so we have some heal. We'll do this twice. Problem is that lowers our max HP as well. Flawless skill chest. We'll try it. Bounce off ground wall to stick to enemies. At aura. Yeah, that's good, but... Oh, I guess, yeah, bouncy just to... Because, yeah, once it, it won't bounce anymore after it hits the guy. So, just kind of, like, stop that. But, it's probably worth it. Probably fine. Dude, the fire grenades are going to be pretty good here. I can even go in the fire and I don't... Yeah, it won't hurt me. <laughs> I can kind of use it like a shield a little bit. Oh, get out of here. He hit me. That's not very nice. That's not very nice. Oh, parkour. Uh, clip size increased. Yeah, I'll say clip size increased. And we'll go do parkour. Okay. Also, someone asked if touching the bananas actually makes you faster. And yeah, like at that beginning start, I believe it does. Unless it just does it once you pass a certain point. But I saw someone on Twitter... Like, being like, what? what? It doesn't make any sense. Why is there a bunch of, like, bananas flying around? I, I remember, like, I think I saw, like, the developer just respond, like, because it's funny or something. <laughs> like, because I can. 
<laughs> and it reminds me a lot of uh, Super Monkey Ball, which is a uh, game uh, franchise that I've loved. Played the PlayStation 2 version a long time ago. Bought the newer one. So it kind of reminds me of that, right? Okay, already got a shop. Damage increased every thousand. Spark shot. Po okay, Poison Aura is just going to help us so much. And we're going to just go to a shop here early on. Oh. Random pickup. Shots do more damage for each shot fired until reloading. That's good because we have a lot of uh, ammo. And then we get some crystals, but we lose health, which is going to lower our maximum health, which is a little bit scary. But I think it's very worth it right now. Okay. So we're down to 63 HP. Our grenades are larger, more damage, but move slower. Oh, I think that's a larger fire radius. Okay, heal when dealing damage. We can uh, max... Um, armor's not going to do anything here. We need health. Constant damage to nearby enemies. <sighs> damage increases. I need health, otherwise we lose this. Okay, bronze heart, I'm going to take. Yeah, bronze heart. Um, silver heart. Oh, nice. Okay, so we're going to take the silver heart. Clip size increased. And, yeah, so... Ah, we're in a pretty good position here. Very good position here. Uh, health chest. Yeah, I do not want a one-shot. Actually liking this build here a lot. Hey, Already got another item. Oh, we took a lot of damage there. At least we do heal. And we're poisoning and deal dealing damage to people near us as well, which is just gonna help out. Thin out the crowd. Shield guy. Wow, this build already feels very strong. Already feels very, very strong. Um, poison debuff stacks increase. Do we try to like turn this into like a poison orb build? That's that's pretty cool. Uh, we could already go to another shop. Ooh, okay. Heal when dealing damage or another armor. I'm gonna do another heal when dealing damage, and I'm gonna go to a shop here. Getting a lot of shops here. Um, gain crystal. Oh no, that cost crystals. So we're gonna see if we can buy anything else here. I want things that permanently increase our max HP. So damage increased to distant enemies is good. Max health. There we go. Increased after clearing each island. Love to see that. Um, fire rate increased. Some good things here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the thing I didn't want, which was the. Melee damage, because I want to buy one of these things here. Melee damage. So we can now buy fire rate increased. Or the, the grenades being larger is surprisingly huge. I'm, I'm really going to, like, actually, you know, learn to kind of have a good balance here. Um, and we didn't get anything there. That's fine. Another parkour. As much as I want the elemental, I'll do a parkour. Maybe you should have done that, because that would have earned me money. This is going to give me a guaranteed epic chest unless I fuck it up, but probably would have made sense to try to actually earn some money and have a chance to get more poison stuff, but whatever. We don't always get to do parkour. Parkour is fun. Even if it's a little bit repetitive, they do need to add more parkour maps. I hope like in an update, they just add like freaking 15 parkour maps or something because it is kind of samey, you know, once you've played a lot like me. We didn't mess up. So we get the epic chest. See if it's worth it. Ooh, aura grenade could be cool. But, oh, shock and Dude, no, I'm doing bubble shot. Shot, yeah, dude. Bubble shot's amazing, especially with the orb launcher. Seems fun. Toxic bubble build. The <laughs> toxic bubble build. Some more max HP. And grenades are larger, dude. They, they definitely can't fire them very far at all, but that's okay. Okay. Bubble Shot is also insanely good against uh, bosses, I think. Okay. Fire. Get a little bit of damage there. Oh! Yeah, my grenades do not go very far, but this build is, build is pretty good. Obviously better against ground enemies. Tends to be how it goes. And I love that we're just gaining 25 max HP per uh, island. Beat that extremely fast. Ignite and dearby, uh, damage nearby enemies. Collector. No, I'm going to do collector. Health. 
Let's go. It was your video, the toxic bubble build. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully we can get more uh, toxic stuff. Because I am liking this build here so far, for sure. Oh, okay. Okay, that one individual ant did a decent amount of damage to us here. Damage increased depending on your combo. More damage moving random patterns. That's the thing, we don't have armor, so the combo thing, even though that's one of the best, if you don't think you're gonna actually get armor, right, it's hard to pick up. So we'll go health chest. We got the just chaotic pattern, but you know, that's a greed totem that we will not be touching whatsoever. Just love the way the freaking uh, bubbles look too. And the orbs, this is just a pretty, a pretty build. But yeah, Collector's gonna be nice, helping us get a good... Collector is so much damage later on. Okay. Max health, yes! Max health increased after clearing each island. And we're gonna go do an elite. I think I can murder these elites here. Where's the third one? Why did it only spawn two? Oh, yeah, it's two. I was thinking of the loop. When we did the loop last video. Because um, when you loop, it adds another. So then you're fighting three instead of two here. Got one of them. Yeah, we are we are very strong here. Uh, against elites. Also, we do way more damage the further away it is. We had taken like one or two of those, I think. It was obviously helping. And then our grenade. Right? That fire. Fire grenade. Doing pretty good. And kill the elite. So now every time we clear an island, we're getting 50 max HP. So nice to, to have infinite scaling HP. Piercing wave, poison aura, aura. Oh man, targeting shot versus poison aura. I'm gonna go targeting shot. Cause I, as much as I like the poison, it's only near us. Bronze heart, flawless critical. Now I'll do a uh, spike chest here. So, I don't know, maybe I should have done that poison thing nearby, but I don't know, targeting is very good, right? Whoa, 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 we got some big boys. Got some big boys. Dude, the fire, the fire grenades are helping a lot. I thought it would be, yeah, I, I thought we needed more help against stronger enemies, you know? Every time you choose to get a different item or go to a different chest than you just talk about getting, we all have to take a shot. We will die alcohol poisoning in one run. <laughs> Uh, grenades are bigger. We are not gonna be able to throw this at, f at like, I'm gonna have to get rid of that at a certain point, probably. And you probably need to stop taking those. More crystals, oh, yeah, more crystals when killing enemies is huge. This is, lose some health. Did it one time, got nothing. I'll uh, we'll go do the economy chest here. Cup champions is kinda like rotated with more elites and bosses. Yeah, and very different gameplay style. Um, I would say, you know, just, it's, it's a roguelike, like Rotato. Um, so if you like the style of the game, right, we probably just like roguelikes, because I would say most of the comparisons are probably just the fact that it's a roguelike, you know. Also, I feel like some, oh, yeah, I forgot it's like a cooldown. So I feel like our, our cooldown on our grenades is definitely faster than the cooldown on the fire legendary on the grenades. That's why it's like every other time it's doing the fire aura and we do not throw it very far at all anymore which now I'm kind of second guessing whether that's even helping increase the uh, AOE it definitely looked like it did but can't say for sure now we're looking for a enemy I hear something there you are there you are Okay. Enemies eliminated with critical hits drop more crystals. Crystals or gain crystals when healing. We do gain crystals when we heal because we did take a lot of that, right? Yeah, heal when dealing damage. Do another economy chest here. I don't think it changed the AOE size, just the grenade itself is larger hitbox. Okay, because now I'm like, at first it did, but I, I don't see it getting any bigger. So that might not actually be worth it. I mean, I guess it makes it dual. 
Yeah, I don't know. I wanted that fired AoE to be bigger. Oh, jeez. Dude, it feels so nice just melting these enemies. Definitely want to find more uh, poison though. Especially since our poison uh, stacks can go higher than normal. Hey, extra item. Um, if we could get some poison on our actual gun itself. I think that would be pretty good. Kill these enemies even faster. Okay. Shot still more damage for each shot fired until reloading. That's really good. Especially because we have 90 ammo. I know sometimes some of you guys have asked... For me to put my camera in the top right, but trust, I don't know. I've done games where I'm in the top right or top left, and I think it's fine if you don't have a green screen, but when you have a green screen, it looks very odd to be just floating in, in the corner, you know. Gain crystals when damaging enemies. Oh my gosh, dude. You're gonna get a lot of crystals. Spike strikes and homing barrels. I can, I can live with that. I can live with that. I'm gonna wait till more of them drop down. I'm gonna get some of these, uh... A lot of homing... ...barrels being spawned, but hopefully we're able to destroy a lot of them. We obviously need to be far away from enemies when they die. Like, I need to- I need to get away! I need to- yep, you cannot be near enemies when they die. Oh god, dude. Ended up taking a lot of damage there. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I think we're okay now. Got a little bit scary there for a second. We were getting a lot of items from that legendary that we started out with. Uh, of just enemies have a chance to drop an item when they die. Woo! Let's see, we got, what, two items dropped? Shots do more damage moving zigzag patterns, that's fine. We'll pay for that. And health regenerates, yep, that's fine. Plus collector, right, gives us more damage. I actually gave us 4% more damage, I just saw. Gain extra uses of your grenade. Problem is, it doesn't really help. Um, it's only one fire thing. That's fine. Clip size increased is huge. And this, like, two or three times. Damage increased when at high health. Uh, sure. And big grenade. <laughs> I, I don't need any more of that. Too, I have too many. Okay. That was, that was kind of worth it. Um... I want the health, but we don't have, we haven't gotten any speed chests yet. Speed chests are very good. Very good indeed. Oh, got one extra item. I just love the way the bubbles look. Honestly, I probably once we get to the shot phase, I will test if it's helping the AOE. Because otherwise, like, I, I'm mainly using this for the... I don't know. Being able to, like, specifically get those fire orbs in good places. So once we get to the shot phase, we'll, we'll test if it's actually helping, but... <laughs> just so... <laughs> projectiles just fly past me to see that the guy's behind me. Nice, nice. Heal when dealing damage, sure. Yeah, we, we get crystals when we deal damage. We get crystals when we heal. We get crystals. I don't know. We're just getting a lot of extra crystals. Melee cooldown. Shots do more damage when airborne. Shots are faster, less affected by gravity. I'll go ahead and take that. So it's a little bit more just like a normal hit scan weapon. Uh, damage increase for each armor plate. I'll take it because it does help with collector 4% damage. Um, and if we get armor, it's good. But use our shop phase. What is this? Ooh. Did we risk it right before a boss to get a legendary? Sure, because I can, I can, yeah, let's do it. Lost 300 max HP for chance to fire spinning axes. Okay. I don't know if I've... I don't know... Ah, we've maybe gotten that before. Um, 
So we're going to go ahead. Uh, silver heart. Oh! I want that gold armor. Bubble shot's good too, but gold armor, man. Um, okay, so that's 6,500. I probably have things I don't need, right? Yeah, grenades are large. Okay, so let, let's test it. So that's, that's what it looks like with it. And then... Yeah, no, it's the same size. So we're going to salvage this so we can get gold armor, which I think we had taken... Yeah, damage increase for each armor plate. So we just got 200% damage increase, theoretically. And I really want another bubble shot. So I need an extra 900. Um... Nine hundred. Yeah, it's a ten second cooldown on the fire explosion. Um though I don't know really what I would want to get rid of. Yeah. Just not gonna happen, that's fine. That's fine. So got a fire bubble, good place. Already gonna kill one here. Already killed one of them. Dude, this is... Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't realize I was jumping off the cliff. Whatever. Yeah, I think all of the damage for the bigger clip size and stuff is really helping a lot. So, Bronze Heart. Additional armor plates every time you pick up armor. I think I'm going to take that. Because we do more damage when we have armor. So, I'm going to commit. If, even if I have to buy the armor, I'll do it. Key. Okay. Final area here. Uh, th uh, so, this honestly may be less of a poison bubble uh, orb build. Like a toxic bubble build. And more of just a high damage bubble orb build. Because of all of the... We're getting extra damage for our armor plates. We're getting extra damage for um, being at full health. We're getting extra damage. Uh, the more mags... Or the more... Well, I don't know if we have the one for more ammo in the thing. But we have more for the more that is shot right from that mag. And we have 117 ammo. You know, I definitely will try to... You know what? I normally don't talk about ammo and I hide it because it doesn't really matter. But I will try to let you know my ammo count, you know, more. Because I know I'm covering it. Um, when I, It's a build that it actually matters with, you know. Since you have Grenadier, drill grenades is decent for a lot of ground enemies. Yeah, the drill stuff something we haven't really utilized too much. Damage increase for each armor plate. Yeah, we could do more distant enemies, but damage increase to each armor plate. Go ahead and get a shot. Maybe gonna get something good here. Maybe, maybe. I don't know how much money. No, we actually, not really. Shot still additional flat damage. Kinda want that. And then, Silver Heart. Fighting Elite, let's go! <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, getting them to sit in the fire. Oh, Lord. Right, and we do less damage the less armor I have, so. Okay, we definitely took some damage here. We killed one of them. There we go. <laughs> okay, what we get? Oh my god, we could fight another elite. Yes, please. Uh, okay, we will definitely take um, dashing repels nearby projectiles. Key, fight another elite. <laughs> oh, two elites in a row. <laughs> so we'll just, we start doing so much damage when we're like near the end of our ammo mag. Got one of them. Come on, just let me fight like a million elites in a row. Let me fight another elite. Oh my god, we can fight another elite. What? Damage increase for each perk level you have. Yeah, this is just a high damage thing. Three elites in a row? 
Oh man, you see him, man. Oh my gosh, three elites in a row. Collector helped so much there. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, another elite. Can we get four elites in a row? No, but we did get a chest or a shop. Triple shot or ooh, or a shot. Yeah. Bronze heart. Shop. Um, I'm not gonna mess with my health. And honestly, I'm not gonna I, I think we've got a good amount of health. I don't need to mess with it too much anymore. I mean I think it'd be okay if we did. Yeah, dagger grenade. Um Nothing good. Okay, actually, you know what? For the meme, let's get a legendary. Grenades lose speed, but home towards enemies. Uh, sure. Okay, so we'll get our health back up. Oh, whatever. Um, we'll do poison aura. More armor, let's go. Heal when dealing damage. Cool. And we'll, we'll do the health chest here, right? We did just half our health, so I'm, this is interesting. I immediately lost a, uh, I immediately lost an armor. Dude, I think the aura shot made this even better. Oh, dude, this is just a pretty looking build here too. This is a pretty looking build. More free items. Took even more damage. Five more seconds, just turning. Oh, 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 oh. I, that scared me so bad. Oh my gosh, those puffer fish. Oh my gosh. All right, now we're doing like a bouncy orb. Uh, we can fight another elite. Yeah, we'll take a heart um, and some shards. Um, okay, <laughs> we fought f four elites so far here. But like, yeah, kind of just like a raw damage, orb, bubble build. It's uh, very good. Very good. We've already killed that. Oh my gosh. Key. More poison aura, some armor. Oh, there was a, a totem back there, but I don't think I would have wanted that. I'm not gonna mess with doubling my health. I do not want to risk it right before the final boss here. Honestly, would the grenades do more damage? Are the grenades? It was a big part of this. Grenades explode into crystal strikes. Our grenades ended up being kind of crazy here. That normally doesn't happen like that. Um, poison de uh, debuff stack increased. And some random shots. So here we go. Let's go, uh, let's go beat the game. Let's beat the game. I got a little bit closer than I probably should have there. So it feels very weird to do the final boss on this map. So cluster, uh, like so claustrophobic. Yeah, our grenades are kind of crazy. And we did it! <laughs> we already did it! <sighs> oh, let's go. So apparently Q, I was told. Oh, see, that's why I don't press Q. So it auto. So I guess I'm supposed to press that. So it just auto picked up something. Not that it matters, but I could probably use it after I open up trees. But we are gonna just take the victory here. Uh, like I said, when we go do diamond, we are going to have to loop all the time. And I feel like that was a very satisfying build. I didn't feel like a loop would make it that much more OP. Uh, so we're going to just take the win here on the orb launcher here. And so we only have two more weapons to beat on Ruby before we do diamond. And once we do diamond, we have to loop every single time, right? So for the, those of you guys that enjoy that, 
Don't you worry. All we got to do is beat auto shotgun. We'll probably try to tackle that next time. And then after that, uh, rocket launcher. And then we're going to have to make the game harder. Loop every single time. Try to beat every single weapon on diamond. Definitely going to be an interesting journey here. But either way, just the raw damage bubble orb build was so much fun. Uh, and uh, we had a little bit of poison there, but I think raw damage was definitely the uh, the bigger focus um, But it was just such a fun. I love the orb launcher. It's so satisfying to use. It just looks amazing um, And glad that we were able to get a W here So if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, I hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys subscribe Ring that bell like all the big boy youtubers say uh, to be notified when more crab champions videos come out If there are some they'll be on the screen right next to me And if you guys are gonna be grinding out some crab champions on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time